In this video, we're gonna look at a couple of ski accessories that we thought were pretty cool to add to your bag of gear. So we have Klettermusen, and we're gonna check out the durable backpack. Why are you called Klettermusen? Yeah, so the brand actually was started by a group of climbers in 1975 in the north of Sweden. And uh, it was a workshop, so it was all about coming together, some sewing machines, a bit of fabric and some patterns, and then going out, testing the products, coming back. So it was always about the products and the name just, it's a classic story of let's find the silliest name and make sure the products stand for themselves. So that's the same philosophy since 45 years. I think that's pretty cool, choosing a silly name so you don't want the brand, you want the product. Yeah, sort exactly. Of. Yeah, I that's mean cool. there's, there's enough brands out there. Right? So what's cool about this ski backpack? Yes, yeah, this is the Ull backpack. We introduced it last year. Um, this is a few, a new color variation and a slightly new fabric. So it feels very durable. Yeah, it's uh, the idea with this backpack was to make uh, a ski touring backpack that was uh, as minimalistic as possible. Mm -hmm. So one thing you'll notice is it uses our um, webbing system. You can use a lot of uh, accessories like helmet holder to basically change, mm. make the backpack versatile so if you that carry cool. a helmet you can put it if you don't you can take it off that means you don't have to change backpacks or you don't need specialized backpacks you can just yeah make it whatever you want i like that the, uh, um, how can you hang the skis on is it uh, diagonal or yeah, a frame your a frame on the sides this mm -hmm. is a compression but also a way to a frame it and you have a hole here for eye sacks which goes in here mm -hmm. here Oh, cheeky, so you can go through like that. Exactly, and then you keep it tight to this. And Perfect. you have a big opening here with a secure... Mm -hmm. And it's like one big bag. Actually, there's a, I'm glad you asked. Yeah. There's an avalanche uh, pocket here for your probe and your shovel. All right. Which can be secure and has a special water outlay here. So if your probe or your shovel is wet, it doesn't impact the rest. Ah, I like that. And then you have a small side access pocket, or right. rather big. So it's really just one big pocket inside and one for the avalanche yeah. stuff. In case I like you really that. need simple. In case you need your pillow. Can I try it? Yeah, absolutely. That's the last little thing. Can we roll it up so it looks a little cool <laughs> on my back, you know? We'll do what we can. We do what we can. I do think they're quite cool, this mountaineer looking backpack. I, uh, I would like one, since they're so lightweight. And... Yeah. Oh, it's one of these serious ones. Yeah, but it's, this is important so it doesn't break when it hits a rock or something. And this is adjustable. Does it have a chest strap? Yeah, this is the chest strap here. Well, that's different. Everything is so different on these bags. Yeah, so it's easy to oh, yeah. And, and you have uh, also a water hydration system that you can put in through here. Lightweight. Yeah. Cool backpack for you or into touring. Thank you so much for showing it to us. Pleasure. Here's another accessory for you. The new Garmin watch. What is special about this Phoenix watch for a skier? Yeah, on the Phoenix 6 we have a lot of different ski functionalities yeah. integrated. We have special ski profiles mm -hmm. for, for alp alpine skiing, for snowboarding mm -hmm. and for backcountry skiing as well. What is a different uh, profile for skiing? Um, the ski profile... Uh, you mean like uh, the maps for those? Um, yes, also the maps, but mm -hmm. uh, in addition the, the watch recognizes automatically if you go to a lift. Yeah. Uh, if you go outside it starts to, to count every run. Right. Um, you have information about the maximum speed altimeter because mm -hmm. we have integrated the barometric altimeter. Mm -hmm. uh, you have really detailed information about mm -hmm. this. At, at the end of the day, you have a um, yeah, result, a summary mm -hmm. of all your yeah, altimeter distance uh, and so on from, from your ski day. Yeah. In addition, we have integrated the first time a, a ski map from different ski resorts worldwide. Yeah. 
with information about yeah, the different runs, the difficulty of the runs, and so it's it's easier to orientation for the orientation in the ski resort. Alrighty. Yeah. What interests me the most about these sort of watches, I had something similar on myself today, is when I like out ski touring track it, know a bit how fit I'm getting. I quite like that. <laughs> uh, one way I use uh, having the elevation barometer yeah. is. Just you know, knowing how high up I am, I can use feeling. But it helps when I relate back to the avalanche bulletin, which I find sort of neat. Yeah. An additional really new feature is a is a backcountry profile. Yeah. So it's easier to record the, the uphill and downhill. Yeah. And to analyze it at the, after the the tour yeah. on on your smartphone, we have a special uh, app, Connect uh, Mobile Connect app, mm -hmm. and uh, there you can see after yeah. after your trip, uh, after your tour, um, yeah, the GPS track uh, with all in, important information. Yeah, and uh, so I, I do use it by, myself, but I quite, quite like you can connect it to fast map, so you get this perfect three D mountains. And then the tour tracks ends up on the mountain and you can save like a little tour book everywhere you have gone. I think that's pretty. Yeah. Uh, does this one have the accident report safety thing? Uh, we have the possibility uh, to connect the watch uh, with a smartphone. Yeah. And we have a button if you uh, put a, pull it uh, some seconds, mm -hmm. uh, you can send out an SOS message yeah. uh, to, to a pretty different uh, yeah, person. Mm -hmm. uh, with your, your coordinates, yeah. that's possible, yes. All right, it is. I wasn't sure if it was. So I think that's quite neat in case you have your phone in the backpack, etc. Hey, thank you very much for showing the new Phoenix watch. Yeah, thank you for your visit. Good luck, yeah. <laughs> I mentioned Kang Pulse already last year, but this year they really stepped it up. They're not only made in flaxseed like last year, but also moose skin. I feel like I can relate to these ones since I, I basically grew up on a diet consisting of moose, 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 vegetables and carbs. Like, moose was the only meat in our family. Nice pulse. I've heard floral, floral stuff is bad for nature. What's up with your wax? So it is, and it's actually been banned. So banned? the 2021 season, like fluorocarbon waxes are no law. So our waxes uses nanotechnology to replace the fluoro, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it does conserve the property of hydrophobicity. Meaning that you don't have to trade off the hydrophobicity just because you're going eco-friendly. But in the process of developing this product, we also made it five times longer, to, like the durability is five times longer than the normal ski wax with fluoro, and it reduces the friction by 40%, making Sweet. it even faster than what you have seen in the fluorocarbon waxes. Interesting. I gotta try this. Can I have a sample? Yeah, you can have a sample, actually, and you can visit our website, Glide Nano. Yeah, and you can see the comparisons to other ski wax brands like with high performance and you can see that ours just up uh, like up past the performance of any other ski wax in the market. Sick man. Yeah. Good luck with that. Thank you. Here's something fun for you guys to follow me. Uh, Jacob, what do you do here? We are making training equipment for uh, snowboard and uh, free ski training. Yeah. Uh, we are making a, a, a park boards, park skis and this kind of product it is uh, Trampoline ski, and you can use it with a jibbing bar and on our mat, training mat, at home. <laughs> I already yeah. have a pair of similar ones from Ski Addiction. These ones they recommend to wear with shoes. So maybe you can know spots better. Or like put a little bit more weight in it before you fall out. That's a little pro. And they come in groovy colors. Thank you for showing us. Thank you. Here's an accessory for you, goggle socks. Some people swear by it because they protect your goggles from getting scratched. I just prefer my goggle bag so far, but I haven't tried this, so maybe it's a good thing for the future. Hello. So this was our last ISPA video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, my overall impression is that change happened slowly. I didn't feel like overwhelmed, like, there wasn't that much incredible news, is what I'm trying to say. Except that binding was pretty cool. Moose handles. Blades. Blades, line blades, fat slalom skis. What? Anyway, give it a little like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.